This video is about eating the Korean Korean style sangyopsal. I'm here right now in Sangyopsal, Changgo. This is one of the Korean style of dining, which is such a craze right now here in Cebu. You can see that each table have a cooking stove where you are given a selection of raw meat and then you can cook it yourself in your own um, way. You can have it well done, medium, or rare. So this is the mechanics to have um, unlimited sangyupshal Korean barbecue. The minimum is two people. And unlimited is good for two hours from the time the first meat is served. And no leftover meat. Leftover meat will be charged 300 pesos per 100 gram. Each table should have the same order. So... Here is the selection. It's 399 per head. You have unlimited pork belly, unlimited rice, unlimited round of iced tea, and unlimited side dishes, unlimited lettuce, and Chinese cabbage. 50% off for children 3 feet and below. Then you have another selection here, which is going to be 499 unlimited beef, unlimited pork belly, unlimited rice, one round of iced tea, unlimited side dishes, and of course, unlimited lettuce and Chinese cabbage. So, I'm going to show you. I'm ordering the 399 and we're going to be cooking it ourselves. So, I know some people have already tried this Sangyopsal Korean barbecue style of dining, but actually, this is my first time so for some of my viewers or followers that's that's also their first time that will be fun so this is the sangyup shal chango which is in talamban area they have a very big space and it's all on a covered court which is okay if it even if it's raining not in an open space so this is quite a big spacious area here just a few steps from the main road of Talamban, I mean Bakayan Road. So the Sangyupsal Chango. So this is part of the order. We don't have the beef, but we have the pork and chicken. We are given this lettuce. And all this um, spices, garlic, onion, and around an iced tea. And these are all the Korean spices. That's the pork belly and chicken. Pork belly and chicken. And then that's a spicy pork belly and chicken. Now the stove is on. We're going to have to... You have to cook it yourself. So here, I'm going to have to put the pork first. So there's a row of side dishes that you can also avail. Okay, put the, I'm here with the treasurer of the corporation, Charity Corporation, Defeating Poverty Through Opportunity Incorporated. And I'm going to have a look at the side dishes available. So, a lot of people like this style of dining where they have to cook it themselves. But, you know, this is my first time. So, I'll have to share it with you for the people that who hasn't tried this as well. So, you eat it with the lettuce. So, there's no carbs. So what's included with your um, price of three nine nine or four nine nine are the side dishes. Side dishes like this. This is mashed potato. It's also unlimited. 
So mashed potato and you got the sushi, unlimited sushi. Then you have the kimchi. Of course, it's Korean, so there's unlimited kimchi. Then there's another side dish of egg fried rice. That's unlimited as well, so you can eat that with your. Then french fries. So, this is quite actually, if you think about it, it is quite um, worth the 399 if you can have unlimited, but you have to consume it within two hours. So, we are now cooking our own. Then, we have to make our own sauce. You just have to cook it the way you like it. Like the well done, rare, or medium. So, this is gonna be so interesting. So, you also have a soup that's unlimited, a side dish. This is now what my cooking here is looking like, but I want it all well done. Any space that is available since the meat has started to like, um. Collapse, I mean getting smaller. I'll put the dishes. So it's quite worth it for the money because you know you can have side dishes unlimited as well. So that's the soup. Unlimited. Mm. So this is our result of our Korean barbecue so this is how you eat it you um, put it on top of the lettuce leaves and then you put your barbecue on top of it already dip here in your sauces there's three kinds that's the one and that's how you eat it so you still have to eat it like that dip in the sauce and then you have the mashed potato the french fries oh by the way the french fries is made of sweet potato and the mashed potato is made of sweet potato so mm. really nice i suggest you bring your pork and knife because they only have chopsticks this is the chicken. What am I going to chicken. Chicken here. Very nice. Mmm. So again, if you want to eat it with egg fried rice, tambutsu, whatever, tambuki, sweet potato, mashed potato, sweet potato fries, and the side dishes, I think is really worth the money. So we have cooked all our meat that was served. We'll be asking for more in a minute. It's quite nice actually. Despite the spice, it's not so bad. It's not that if you're not a spice person, you still can eat it. So this is the Sangyupsal Korean barbecue style. So, bon appetit! So Chango Sangyup style is located near Talamban Banilad Road, uh, Talamban Bakayan Road. Just a few steps from before you reach the Star Oil gasoline station, there's a road, a small road going in. 
that you just follow that anyway you can see the sign Sangyup Sao Changgo I believe it's worth a try this is I heard that a lot of good reviews on this place and also that you don't get wet during the rain because they have covered court to park <laughs> and there's plenty of space to dine in so when it's so busy you still find you something to where you can sit down because it is still open space around here so this is located again in Talamban Bakayan Road before you reach Star Oil gasoline station and this is how a Korean barbecue works you cook your own barbecue you are given side dishes unlimited and you eat it with lettuce so we are now on the spicy ones then if you finish that you can again ask for another serving but you need to finish it all otherwise they charge you 300 pesos per 100 gram Sangyupsal or Korean barbecue so when your cooking pan is get sticky they will change the pan so you can cook again we have another serving this is unlimited meat but we don't want the spicy one because it makes the pan sticky so we can start cooking again so again you put your meat in the middle of the leaves and then you wrap it out that's how you eat the Korean barbecue so I'm grilling our second lot of the unlimited meat chicken and pork I want the pork well done I know this is not the sort of dining that old B would like because when he eats meat he wants the fillet tenderloins chicken breast fillet so things like with bones my husband don't eat that so is my daughter copied it from him So we have to wait for it and then eat it with another serving of the lettuce. So far, we are now almost done with our dinner here, early dinner. And Sangyupsal here in Chango, Chango Sangyupsal or the Korean barbecue is not bad. Actually, it's quite tasty because you can do your own flavorings for your barbecue and you eat it fresh direct from the grill and straight to your mouth if you can like you can stand the heat but you know and you can also mix your own sauces and the spice level the spiciness level of your thing that you can control so this is another thing that you can try if you haven't tried it yet in your own country is to try the Korean barbecue some yopsal.